I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions (laughs) or essay. (laughs) He booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. (laughs) The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish that... It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. (laughs) In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about uh, we review the sequence of events, hmm? Son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. 
This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. They kept it.
just need a minute. Yeah, uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard. And yet... Thanks, Jed. I wonder how she's really holding up. Living off these is not great. But it's better than leaving the apartment. Same. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? out what's really going on with Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yep. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. 
First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. Requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know, Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> yeah. 
Those are pretty rad. Right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's what? How convinced were you that that was going to work from one to ten? <laughs> like a three. Well, that's more than zero. glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? I just got him back. How can he be gone? A 
kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. I feel sick. It's a start. So long, depression food. One of the 
happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or... See? I can be a person. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. No birds today. Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking see you around, Steph. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. I'll toss those soon, I swear. I thought this was going to be the one, finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you, completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone.
Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. I wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for, if you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But... If you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. I had an incredible mom. And I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said... She said... You're exactly what these mountains need. Bye, Mom. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. I wish we'd had more time. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Damn, Ducky. 
would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. This town has a long memory. Guess it's nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. I bet he will too. Why do I feel like this is a challenge? Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. You're coming downstairs. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. R, M, and T, B. I wonder who they were. They look happy together. That's my late wife in that photo. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. But these last few, they've been hard. I can imagine. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want.
Not sure when the words Gabe Chen and Wake will stop being weird. But now isn't it. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. You heard about the accident. Was it on the news? No, no one's been fired. Yet. Yes, Mom, I, I still have a job at Typhoon. They still have plans to expand. No, no, Mom. It would not help for you to call them. I don't know. It's going to be a vote or something. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before, this town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this soul. The park looks fun to explore. Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. You're writing a novel? Since when? I just started. I have no idea what I'm doing. Babe, this is great. We wanted to take a class together, right? Let's do creative writing. But that wouldn't start until summer. What's the rush? I guess I... No... You're right. You're right. What if I die tomorrow? Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. Okay, 
It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you... want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not mine. I'm here for you whenever you need me. so young. He must be reading about Gabe. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. Did you see him over by the water? Yeah, he looked rough. I didn't talk to him. I wasn't really sure what to say. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. friend please I need you is she looking for a bird maybe I'll keep an ear out oh sorry you're fine Pike. Hey. Um, how are you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... <laughs> when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is, the mining company is about to expand. More jobs means more customers for you. 
But what about that accident? Frankly, I'm a little spooked. If Typhon goes under, I'd lose all my business. It's very unlikely that anything with Typhon will change. They've been the largest employer in Haven for decades. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm sold. Glad to hear it. I'll draw up the contract and call you tomorrow to talk next steps. Great. Hope customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? It's hard to say. Yeah, because they won't tell us a damn thing. I just still can't wrap my head around it. Someone died? It's a shit situation, but the least they could do is be upfront with us about our job security. Exactly. I just hope the council passes the vote. So, anyone seen Loudon? Not since his shift that night. Poor son of a bitch. <laughs> we should get him a beer sometime. I gave Typhon eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sorry about today. It's not your fault. But I was really looking forward to climbing Teller's Peak. I think the trails will be closed for a while. Someone died up in the ravine a few days ago. <sighs> well, we can try again when I come out with Mom and Dad for the 4th of July. Yeah. That'd be good. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sure, I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? Class, uh, maybe? Could we get dinner first? Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. You should come. Oh, I, I meant just the two of us. Dude, we hang out all day. Aren't you sick of me? No. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I 
know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I, I, it's not that, I, sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to- If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Sorry, Riley. I don't think he's innocent. Simple but effective. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. Maybe there's something around here I can use to get it open. I've broken into places for less. I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Huh. 
somehow, even after everything, I never had to live on the street. I hope this person's all right. That might be our feathered friend. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting even when you try to hide it from him. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. I can't 
get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith, but you're right. He's dead because of them and I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can also get you high. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. God, put some clothes on. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Given the circumstances, 
I could definitely. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Coffee in the morning, whiskey before bed. Works like a charm. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. to be friends. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Right? Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Helpful. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern rock. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were going to take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? 
Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Rather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike. But first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait, isn't that the name of the found dog? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac.
I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally, cancel AAA membership. No, I, I said cancel. Cancel! Not transfer, cancel! Representative. Representative! Yikes. I just want to talk to a person. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are we always just going to scrape by? Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine. You were right about Piratey Peaches. Oh, I was right, huh? <laughs> How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum raisin harder. It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting actual rum in it again, have you? Uh, no. Anyway, I took out a radio ad too. That'll help. Please say it's not the one you read to me the other day. That was so weird. It's not weird, it's fun. Don't you like fun? Sonny. It makes an impression. Don't worry, okay? This town's gonna make a comeback. Trust me. I sure hope you're right. I have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? No, I couldn't. I spent too much money romancing the lumberjack. I can't believe you think I would like this game. Just play it, you'll see. Only if you start Dust and Daylight. Uh, I'll think about it. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm.
She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Well, does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. <laughs> Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I, I want to help. <laughs> okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember.
Did anything happen with Riley? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey. Did you maybe call someone? I can't say for sure. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. I wonder who called. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know Jed. 
probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. That must have been a different time. I hope it's good news. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. Fuck off! Leave me 
Sicherung. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- coming here and playing it back but it always ends the same Ryan he's dead he's really dead Alex my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless, but we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry.
forgive you. How could I not? You're not alone. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. We're going to send him off right this time. Okay. What emotion is this? Oh, 
That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. <laughs> Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Gabe, goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before, but... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? I've never told anyone until now. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to tow the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now.
This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I 